Well, hello there! I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. I appreciate you taking your time and joining the community today. Welcome to this space. I had an interesting short yesterday, and I asked people, what's scarier, visiting someone like me, a proctologist, or the dentist? Oh my god, the dentist, come on! <laughs> but the majority of you said, of course, it's you, Dr. Chung. Hello. I mean, it's not all bad news at the dentist, but for you? I mean, come on. There's an, always something going on there. And of course, I understand, but oh, my heart, it hurts so bad. <laughs> but I want to talk today about a topic I should have done a long time ago. I apologize it took so long, but people have been asking, Dr. Chung, after a hemorrhoidectomy, can you please explain what the heck is going on on the outside of my butt, okay? If I'm looking at my butt with my camera, can you please help me figure out what the heck is going on down there? And yes, I will help you today, for sure. But first, let me introduce the sponsor of the channel, which is Pranacura. Pranacura has been a sponsor since 2022. We, I am proud to present them. I've actually met the owner at a colon and rectal surgery conference and I've also spoken with him on the phone personally many times because I want to make sure that I try these products out myself but the owners of these companies are into helping you. That's the biggest thing. I want to give you options to help you treat your bottom ends. Okay and <laughs> I don't know whether I'm, I'm embarrassed or ashamed, but this is my second bottle. <laughs> this is my this is my second bottle. Um, thank you very much, Pranicure, for the second bottle. But I find this to be extremely helpful for getting over my hemorrhoid flares. Okay, and if you go to their website www.pranicure.com, you'll see the reviews on there. People are using for hemorrhoids for anal fissures, for anal wounds, for anal itching, any inflammation or issues going down there, this can be a great way to protect the bottom end and allow healing to occur. So I encourage you to check it out. Once again, I don't mess around with just anybody who wants to work with me. It's got to be for real and it's got to be helpful. So let us get on with the topic, okay? So the hemorrhoidectomy surgery, watch a video. I've got a video on it on how I do it. But the big thing I want to recap is there are stitches after they cut out hemorrhoids that are the big ones, right? The stitches run from the inside, from the anus, top of the anus, all the way to the outside. And if you were to look at your bottom end on the day of surgery, things are going to look kind of flat and might even look great except for you have these stitches that are baseball stitches running on the outside like sun rays from the center of your hole right and you might see some knots there and these are usually absorbable stitches they'll eventually kind of loosen up or unravel on you but you're gonna see of course maybe some bruising on the outside of your skin but for the most part you know the first day pretty expected nothing abnormal then for the next few days, like maybe two to three days, you're going to see inflammation set in, which of course, you know, the surgery is doing damage to your bottom end, or cutting or stitching. It's not pretty. So the immune system is going to come in and of course bring in all the healing supplies, but also encourages water to fill in all those tissues. So those wrinkles that were there, they start to disappear, you know, because the water is filling in and creating swollen like bubbles of skin, okay? And these are not hemorrhoids, okay? This is where the hemorrhoids live, but those bubbles, most of them is just plain old water. If, you were, if we were, had the capability of wringing out your anus at that point, it would be just water dripping out, and then you'd be left with your hemorrhoids themselves. But a lot of swelling is going to occur, and things are just going to look pretty angry. The skin is going to look darker pink or even redder, but you shouldn't have any black or green or any other suspicious things like that going on. Definitely if you have stuff like, if you see something like that, definitely contact your doctor right away. Um, but that's usually what happens before you go poop. Now, 
But what about the next few days after that when you start pooping? Okay, make sure with your doctor you've got a strategy for when you poop because if you get constipated or things don't come out, it's not pretty because you gotta strain really hard to get things out. Okay, but when you do start pooping, that's when another stage of inflammation occurs. Okay, you may even feel better with your hemorrhoid surgery before your poop because nothing is messing with your anus it just stays closed and it just sits pretty and it's trying to just you know bear the pain the weather but once you have a poop think about it there is something that is going through your anus okay through your anus and rubbing against all the areas we did surgery rubbing against all the areas that are inflamed and swollen it's not pretty and the pain lets you know that's not it's something not appreciated and more inflammation sets in okay any wounds that were healing well they kind of get messed up when you have a poop okay so that's why soft poop is so important but what might you see on the outside once you start pooping okay the thing is, is that more swelling may occur even to the point where you may see internal hemorrhoids pop out on the outside you're like whoa what the heck is that bright shiny pink thing god that almost looks like my internal hemorrhoid before the surgery and you might think that one of some of your hemorrhoids might even on the outside get bigger as well you're like, oh my god what the heck is going on here and for the most part it isn't something that is a complication. It isn't something that needs to be fixed emergently in surgery. But in my opinion, it should be something that your doctor should look at if you're concerned, okay? Because some of these, they shouldn't get extremely big, but they will get a little bit bigger. If there is hemorrhoids, the inside meats coming out, like the shiny stuff, that should be looked at too. Make sure your doctor knows about that because maybe it's another hemorrhoid okay maybe it is maybe there's a blood clot that bled underneath there and that should be drained or done something with okay but some most sometimes most of the times that is an unknown phenomenon okay and that can happen to many people some people are blessed in that they don't get any of those popping out it just looks very very clean on the outside but some people can have those flare-ups of skin which include hemorrhoids right at that location because again the stitches all the pooping is going on it's very very hot and heavy place okay but again the common thing here is to, in order to know for sure you need to contact your surgeon all right so while this is happening the body is trying to keep up you know the anus is being under attack by our pooping but unfortunately it's got to keep doing that job and eventually slowly but surely these skin tags the bumps on the outside will start to swell down little by little okay and up to the point where you're almost at maybe two to four weeks these bumps are getting smaller they look less hot meaning they're starting to turn to skin color getting less red and pink getting less painful and some of those inside meat that came out will start to even go back inside the bottom end here okay and if there is a problem what does that look like well for one thing if you've got a big piece of meat that flipped out okay that's something that should be looked at maybe there's something that the surgeon can do to intervene for you so instead of having to suffer with that thing you can get thrombos hemorrhoids okay and yes that can definitely happen because bleeding is a very natural thing after you just had surgery so that's something a surgeon can also help you with and if there's an infection what does that look like dr chung how do i know I'm, I'm not having one of those well it needs a trained eye but in general the anus is going to look pretty uniform after a surgery it's going to be all pink all swollen the same grade the same level right and it's going to be kind of equal pain around the entire face of the clock around your anus the abscess usually happens in one place at a time okay hopefully for you it doesn't happen but one area may get way more swollen way more red and but pain is usually the biggest thing that turns up and that needs to be addressed by your surgeon right away okay 
because if it becomes very complicated, you may need another surgery to get that handle. So definitely let that surgeon know, okay? But with time on the outside of your anus, you should start to see a trend that things stay stable day to day, and then eventually as time goes on, they start to swell back in more and more and more. Okay, and with the skin tags, and you ask Dr. Trump, what about those extra pieces of skin? They're, they're nasty. They're, they're what I wanted to get rid of in the first place. That's a great question. Um, in my office, the patients that I do surgery for, I remove those guys, you know, because it certainly is an eyesore. It certainly is a pain to wipe around them. And so I will remove them at various points during your recovery so that you feel better, you know. Sometimes they're a big, hard lump in there, and you just keep to tell a patient, you just got to live with that, you know. Sorry. Sometimes I will actually remove them halfway into the recovery because that ends up being way better in the long run. Okay, and so again, contact communication with your surgeon is very important. Make sure you pick a surgeon who's going to be there to help you. Okay, and I hope this video has helped you a ton to understand what is normal on the outside and what may not be. But in general, just a recap is that the inflammation, the swelling is definitely going to happen. But the amount of swelling and where problems can occur, definitely if you feel something out of the ordinary, things are not getting better little by little, that's when your surgery needs to be involved. And so once again, I want to just give a shout out to Pranacura again, okay? Where when you're going through your hemorrhoid flares or even going through hemorrhoid surgery, I've sometimes told my patients to try Pranacura, okay? And you got to... Discuss it with your surgeon first as to what he or she may be approving of. But check out their reviews and you can only get Pranacura from their website. They do ship international around the world. Contact them through their website and I hope you feel better soon. Thanks so much for being here. Take care. Bye-bye.